I went in the store for one egg and came out with 18. Are these treats gonna live up to the height or am I gonna go vegan? I have been looking for this, the Snickers egg, for a couple of days now. And I, just because I kept trying gas stations over and over again. They sell Reese's eggs in a lot of gas stations. So why don't they sell these? I don't know. But I did find it in a six pack at Walmart. They're at Walmart, they're at Target, they're at Walgreens, they're online. Not a gas station that I've seen. They listed Circle K uh, as a potential buying place, but the Circle K I went into didn't have it either, so. So imagine my delight when I found these in six pack next to them too, Hershey's and Twix. The Hershey's one has a marshmallow filling on the inside and the Twix has its traditional caramel and crisp on the inside, so. The Snickers one has its traditional insides as well with the uh, peanut butter and your milk chocolate, your caramel, your peanuts, your nougat. Each one of these has about 15 grams of added sugar in them, even though they're all under like 150 calories. So I'm only going to be taking a bite of each to avoid having to cut my foot off after this video. I'm going to start with the Hershey's egg because I'm the most curious about it. Uh, it's clearly more different than the other two. How can you go wrong with chocolate and marshmallow? I don't know. You can see the tiny little bunnies on there too. How cute is that? Oh, it smells like good American chocolate. <laughs> really? It's thin on the bottom, but let's give it a shot. I'm going to take one bite and eat up half the thing, but that is <clears throat> I'm about to choke. There is <coughs> <coughs> there is some thick marshmallow in there. Um, historically, I've not been a very big marshmallow eater, really. I'm fine with them. I like them in cocoa. I have eaten them separately as a snack before, but I don't necessarily think that this thick of a marshmallow is super uh, great. It's definitely not something I would want more than one of. Um, I'm kind of glad I started with this. That way I feel better about doing the other two. The chocolate's fine. The marshmallow is thick. That's a look at the inside right there. Very thick, but not necessarily flavorful. So uh, this one's gonna be a pass. Now for the Twix. Twix, it says Twix on the front. Oh, there's a little piece. It's almost like it's inviting me to crack it open like that. Um, to get a little peek inside from the crispy part right there. A little caramel poke. Oh, you know how like, when you're eating a hamburger, sometimes you get the perfect bite look on the side. Kind of the same thing right here. Nice and crispy without being too hard, like I've experienced over the years with Twix lately. But overall flavor, really good. I would argue that this is better than a Twix bar in and of itself, even though it's the same ingredients and the same concept. Okay, I'm not going to throw this away because it's melting in my fingers and I swear I'll just chuck a half melted thing of chocolate in my car. And... No, I still missed, man. It's an absolute catastrophe. Now, what you've all been waiting for, the Snickers egg. This one has a nice decoration on it, like a real egg with the little dots and everything. It's nice, but we're here about the flavor, aren't we? Hmm. Also, one that you could probably call an improvement over the bar that they sell in stores and gas stations. I personally never want a full Snickers bar. I think it's too much, it's too heavy. I want something else with more nougat or just not like as many peanuts or something like that. Unless if I want peanuts, I'd get like a 
payday or something like that. But if you look inside, you know, and the outside, it's thinner than a Snickers bar. It doesn't have as much stuff in it. And obviously it's not as long as a Snickers bar, which means that it definitely fits my desired ratios for a Snickers bar as a whole. So I am actually super pleased with this. And it's bigger than a Snickers mini that you get typically at Halloween. And I like those too and wish that they you know, were bigger. So here we are. No. <laughs> Just for the diabetes part, not for the flavor. It's actually quite good. For the Hershey's marshmallow egg, it's a hard pass for me. It's too thick, too heavy, not, I'm not feeling it personally. For the Twix egg, yes, absolutely. Put that formulation into stores. Try and keep that quality up, keep that crispiness, get it back to what it, it was historically. Of course, everything's always better when you're younger. <laughs> What do, I, what do I say? And for the Snickers egg, which was supposed to be the only focus of this video today, they should also keep that size in formulation too. If they were going to do shrinkflation on anything, they could bring Snickers down to that size and I'd be very, very happy. 